So you yeah, broke down, bought the expensive set of coilovers for your ride, you got everything installed, you're probably going a little faster in the autocrosses and on the road courses, probably got a little higher spring rate, uh, now you've probably got adjustable dampers, so you're probably going a little faster, but there's a couple things you need to watch out for when you got coilovers on your car. You're definitely increased the complexity of your suspension. Um, there's something that a lot of people probably don't realize you need to check when you first put the coilovers on, and that is uh, corner weight, especially if you go in and you make changes to your ride height, aside from the way the coilovers came from the factory. When they came from you from the factory, they are probably pretty close as far as having your car uh, balanced uh, corner to corner. But if you go in and you mess with the ride height any, chances are uh, you're at least a little bit out on the corner weight. Unfortunately, uh, checking corner weight requires scales, and a lot of people don't have scales, and they're, they're quite expensive, at least over $1,000 for, for a decent set of uh, uh, intercomp or long acre scales. Okay, I jacked the car up and got it on the scale pads. And you want to go around all four corners, check your tire pressures, you want to have the same tire pressure. This is the intercomp display that I got. It's a fairly nice unit. Just turn it on here for you. That was all these different setups, but what I'm going to do is just use the uh, road course setup. And what you got here, you know, you got total weight, which is about what an Evo weighs wet. Uh, this is the select total, and I have the right rear and the left front selected so that is the total of those two and over here on the side this is the percentage of what we have selected of the total weight see I got a little battery there but anyway the percentage is what we really care about you want to get that to about 50 percent you can do two things here but it is important to keep the driver weight in mind when doing this I like to actually sit in the seat. It's a lot easier than lugging around a bunch of weights, but you can take uh, weightlifting weights, just free weights, and sit them in the driver's seat. So today we're just going to focus on getting our ride height, uh, adjustable coilovers, and the uh, corner weight set with those. So. Okay, so we've taken some weight measurements and we've determined we want to make a change to the left front. So jack the car up, <clears throat> put the jack stand under there. Take the wheel off. Anyway, lean off your. But our ride height is set down here on this bottom nut. So you got your your friends here, the spanner wrenches. So if we want to loosen this, let's see. see it turn a little bit. There you go, see now it's, it's loose, I can turn it by hand. Okay, now this bottom part down here should be threaded as well. And this part threads into this, and this is just the lock nut to keep it in place. So what you want to do, you run this up, especially if you're wanting to move the tire and everything up. And now you turn this by using these nuts. And that's how you make your adjustments um, for your ride height at any particular corner. Now when you're doing these corner weights, you probably just want to work with one corner at a time. Just moving it up and down, you'll make a little change. Put the tire back on, take your weights, probably take the tire back off, because things won't be right. You'll have to make another change, but generally you can just work with one corner to get everything right, once you determine which corner you want to work with. Stock like spring rates, you can move probably quite a bit and not move anything. So. Your spring rates really matter. High spring rates, little changes, uh, lower spring rates, bigger changes to get the equivalent of weight change on our scales. That's, that's really all there is to it. There's a couple simple concepts you need to realize when you're doing this stuff. Um, you've got four, these are very simple equations. Uh, the front weight will be a constant, the rear weight will be a constant, the right side and left side weights they're all constants. You can't change that. The total of these, total of these, total here, and total here will always be the same. Now, for most cars, most front engine 
cars. Um, this, your front, will obviously be more than the rear. The rear is going to be less. And decent cars, left to right, they'll be almost equal or close. A lot closer than the front to rear. The front to rear is going to vary a whole lot more. So, so we, once you get that down, you need to know if I lower a corner, what happens? If you lower the front left, it will decrease the amount of weight on this and this tire. And will increase the amount of weight on these two tires. So by lowering this tire, you increase this weight and decrease this weight. That's the basic concept. Um, there's no real other way around it as long as we're just working with these coil overs. You basically raise or lower one corner and the way I determine that is you know you want to make a change, go around the car and see which wheel gap, you know, or ride height on the car needs an adjustment and work with that one. That's basically all you can do. You raise or lower one corner. If you lower the corner, it lowers uh, the amount of weight on that wheel and it's opposite wheel and increases the amount of weight on the other two wheels. That's about it.